Today's question comes from one of our magnet engineers who's also developing a motor. He needs a little bit more power to go from the magnets to the stators. So his question is, can I increase my magnetic uh, force by giving my magnet more power when magnetizing? So basically his question is, can I magnetize it so that it can be maybe an N45 or an N52 or an N55? So the answer is, all magnets should be saturated right from the beginning. Once they're magnetized, they are saturated. So to give you a, a quick illustration, if this is a picture of my magnet, when it gets saturated and when it gets magnetized, it's filled up to the top. The magnetic field can go no further. It's like a cup of water. A cup of water, if you were to fill a cup up to the very top with water, it's full. It can't get any fuller. It's the same with magnetics. So once a magnet is saturated, it is saturated. It cannot go any further. So it cannot be changed from an N45 to an N52 to an N55. When magnets are manufactured, they're magnetized to be specifically a specific grade. So they're magnetized to be an N42, or they're, mag or they're manufactured to be an N45 or an N52, and that's as high as they can get. For this illustration and for this question, though, I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to go the reverse. And sometimes we get questions, can I take a magnet and go from an N45 down to an N42, so actually reduce the magnetic field? The answer is yes, it is not something that we recommend. The minute that you start to take that magnet away from being saturated, you can actually uh, make the magnet less stable. So it is not something that we recommend. However, there is a process that allows you to heat treat the magnets at a very low heat, with an emphasis on the words very low heat, so that the entire lot becomes more stable and they look more alike from part to part to part to part. Uh, we see this in some applications that require a very tight tolerance in the magnetic field. It adds expense, but it is a possibility and it should only be done with very low heat and by somebody who knows exactly what they're doing. Hope this helped. Keep the questions coming at info at smagnetics.com or view our website at www.smagnetics.com. Thank you.